Number 47. Indicate whether each of the following can be determined exactly or must be measured with some degree of certainty. I see that we've got A through F here. So A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. So we went more in depth in last question about whether you can determine something exactly or degree of uncertainty. So if you need the full roundabout, go check number 46 out. Just press that button on the playlist. But quickly, you could only measure two things exactly. Whether you count it, so literally on your fingers, or if you can count something in front of you, like I have two candles on my desk. I have... 10 toes, I have, you know, 20 eggs in a basket, that type of stuff. Also exact numbers come from conversion factors. So if you can use a conversion factor, aka these numbers to convert one unit to another, you can do that exactly because we know the exact and it says it right here. Some of them literally say exact. We know exact amount from one unit to another. However, if we cannot count, then we cannot use a conversion factor, then it's a degree of uncertainty. We can find out something by being a little bit unsure about something, which is okay. We just won't know exactly. So let's see um, whether A through F, we could find out exactly, or would we be a little bit uncertain? So A, the number of seconds in an hour. So this is saying that I have an hour, which represents one hour, and they're asking for seconds. This looks like I'm starting with one unit, hour, and I'm trying to convert to seconds. We probably, well, we definitely are going to use a conversion factor. Now, in this case, just know that you could always go from hours to seconds by just doing a little pit stop at minutes. We don't need to calculate this, but just know that, you know, one hour equals 60 minutes and one minute equals 60 seconds. So those two conversion factors can be used to find out the number of seconds in a single hour. So would this be found out exactly or with the degree of uncertainty? Letter A would be found out exactly because we need to use a conversion factor and conversion factors are exact measurements. B, the number of pages in this book, well, we're using the OpenStax textbook, but we're doing it online here. But if you literally had the physical copy, would you be able to find out how many pages are in the book? Of course you could. All you got to do is just go to the back and see what the last page number is. Did you count it? Use a conversion factor? Or are you unsure? Yeah, all you got to do is count. So this is also an exact measurement. You can find it out exactly. Letter C. The number of grams in your weight. Hmm. Can I count that? Use a conversion factor or am I unsure? If I wanted to determine just the number of grams of my weight. Well, the first thing I would know is I would need to know how much I weigh, which to be honest, I don't really know. <laughs> so with that the case, do I really know how many grams are in my weight? I'm, I'm pretty unsure about that. I don't know that. And I can't count that. We can't use a conversion factor. So this I would be a little bit unsure about. So this we would have to use some level of degree of uncertainty. Okay, moving on. D, the number of grams in three kilograms. Now here they're giving you a direct number. They're saying, okay, we got to start with three kilograms and we just want to find out the number of grams. So we're literally going from 3 kg kilograms to grams. I'm going from one unit to another. How do I get there? Oh, I got to use a conversion factor. When I use a conversion factor, that means that I can find that out exactly. So finding out D would be an exact determination. 
And just so that you guys know, Kilo, you would use this information right here. Now, how do you use this graph? We'll go much more into depth, but just know that if I use this chart here, one kilogram kg would equal this number that they give you in the base unit. So one kilogram equals 10 to the third grams. And that's the conversion factor, the CF, I'll say, to use or to convert from three kilograms to grams. Letter E, the volume of water you drink in one day. Can I count that? Use a conversion factor, or is it a degree of uncertainty? Mm, I, I don't even know, right? I don't even know how much water I drank today. But I should be drinking more, especially because I'm talking a lot. So, I can't count that. I don't have a conversion factor for that. So, it would have to be with some degree of uncertainty. And then finally, F, the distance from San Francisco to Kansas City. They love this uh, distance from San Fran to Kansas City. Um, but can we count that, use a conversion factor, or are we unsure about that distance? Well, we definitely can't count it, right? I'm not even sure how far away San Fran is to Kansas City can't really use a conversion factor because they don't give me an exact number. That's the difference between D and F, or D and E for that matter as well. With this one, we can exactly know it because they gave us a number. But for F, they're just saying the distance. So they're not giving us an exact number. So we can't really find an exact measurement or determination from that. So F would have to be found also with a degree of uncertainty. Awesome job, guys. Hope this helped a lot. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. I hope you guys have a great day. And if you don't mind, it only takes a second, hit that subscribe button. You'll get tons and tons and tons of more answers, especially for this textbook and many others coming your way. So you don't want to miss out. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.